we get a thousand likes on this video, Mrs. Whisperer has to let me have one. <laughs> <You're not having laughs> one. Mrs. Whisperer, right, we need to go curry. <laughs> That's what you call the absolute hammer. Pocket it there and there. All done? Yeah, all done. I've finished it. Paint this black now. You're going to paint the frame black. Yeah. Everything's painted with the same paint. But wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi, Daniel son. <laughs> I've got to get one of them, love. You're not having one, baby. I've got to have one of them. <laughs> as they're known as the Three Musketeers. Happy days. Pleasure having you guys round. Because I always say thank your mother for the rabbits. There is what you call the absolute hammer. I can definitely smell the fiberglass. Watching the koi. Happy days. So I'm coming straight in here. Coming out here. Join straight up to there with a T. Hello everyone, welcome back. James the Koi Whisperer. So today coming up on this video, I've got a few people coming down as they're known as the Three Musketeers. So stick around for this video and then I've got some DIY projects on later on this afternoon. Right then, so I've had a little visit this morning. I've got the Three Musketeers here as they call themselves. Happy days. So just want to ask a few questions. What do you think of the garden and the pond and what the setup's like? Day one, watch the whole video and everything, and it's, uh, it's just so much better in the flesh. Quality of what you've done and how you've done it, and the size of your pillow, the size of them fish. Yeah, appreciate that. Definitely, can't forget Mrs. Whisperer, obviously. Definitely, can't forget Mrs. Whisperer. And a banging cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Whisperer's just bought us out a nice cup of coffee, and we got some biscuits. That's what you call. The absolute hammer. Greg's is going to get out his uh, drone for me. Only downside, I might have to buy one myself now. <laughs> Can no. I get one? No. Why? No. He's about to take off. Just wait for the boot up. I've got good editing skills, mate. <laughs> Here we go then. Here we go. Remember the exact location. Yeah, because it's so tight here though. You can see obstacles. So yeah. I've just taken over. I've got to get one of them, love. You're not having one, baby. I've got to have one of them. <laughs> Write it down in the comment section. We get a thousand likes on this video. Mrs. Whisperer has to let me have one. <laughs> You're not having one. That whole video as well now, so... <laughs> thousand likes. Oh, I've got this one, mate. So, yeah, this is the next investment that I'm going to be getting as well because I do struggle sometimes with wind noise. And Scraggs and Phil's just been showing me some of their uh, equipment they've been using. Mrs. Whisperer, the right. we need to go curry. <laughs> Thanks for popping down, lads. No Happy days. Safe journey home. Yep. Thank your mother for the rabbits. <laughs> See you later. Right then. So I've had an absolute cracking morning. Very kindly, aid the koi keeper let me have one of his mugs. And I've got a sticker to put up in my filter shed. And then very kindly, because I always say thank your mother for the rabbit, left me a rabbit so I can put this rabbit in the garden. Happy days. Probably made me have a laugh and a chuckle. Thank you very much. So yeah, what an absolute pleasure that was having the three musketeers down to visit us today. Mrs. Whisperer making the cups of teas. You even got involved in a bit of the koi conversation as well. Now I need to crack on with some building. Right, so Aid, you're gonna be living in me filter shed. You're living down there, right next to Scraggs. That's the hammer. James. I'll have to send him a text message because I want to get that one. James. You are not getting a drone. I want to get a drone <laughs> and I want to get these mics. Come on, guys, give us a thousand likes on the video and I'll go and get one. Because I can put it on an Argos card, I can pay monthly for it, and I can use the money that I get from my YouTube money to pay for this. So it's sort of like an investment as well. You're not getting a drone. I've got to get one now. Right then, so as you can see, I went to the parents' farm and, um, I found some old timber in the barn. It's a bit old, but it will still do the job I want it to do. Right, so what the plan is, I obviously need to hire this filter up. For the people that don't know, this filter needs to run off gravity. So what it means is this filter needs to be the same height as what the finished height of the pond is gonna be, the water level that is. So the easiest way of doing that, is if you get your pond, put a spirit level on, you know, but that is maximum height of your water level. Obviously, you're going to have coping stones on the top of your pond or wood or something. 
but the maximum height is 10 mil from the top of the brick. So basically what that means is that you run it level there and then measure from underneath to the top of the filter and then build your frame to that height, which will bring this to the same height as what this is. Now I've got to take off 10 mil because that's what height I want the filter to be below the pond level because when I turn the pumps on, I'll be pulling water out of this quicker than what it can put it in. But yeah, that's how we do it. So I need to measure from there to there. Let me get that done. Do me cuts out here so I don't make a mess inside. Nice and flush against the fence. Beautiful. Well, Mrs. Whisperer, give it some hammer. I'm doing all the work like normal. Well, you make out that you do. I do it all. <laughs> she ain't a bad DIYer. She knows how to do a bit of DIY, doesn't you, sweetheart? Yeah. Crack on then, girl. I'm watching how it's done, are you? Yeah. See, I get some all ready for her, though. That's what I do. Get them ready. Right, so the frame's coming on. We just got to whack, work out the measurements of the bottom of this filter, because the way that the filter sits, it sits on three sections. So he's got one on the end, one on the end, and we've got to work out where the other support needs to be here right so this is what we're on about you can see how the filter drops down and the whole weight of the support is right here so we've customized it so all of the weight is on here and we're going to do the same underneath this section so we're just going to need to mark it there and there and put another support in here as well she's a beauty <laughs> All done? Yeah, all done. I've finished it. Happy days. And you can tell I've done it. Look, I'm covered in wood and everything. <laughs> Proper job. Well done, love. Right then, she'll do the absolute hammer. Perfect. But I'm going to paint this black now. You're going to paint the frame black. Yeah. Right, while you do that, what I'm going to do, patch in the holes that need to be replaced with the right size pipe work, all right? Oh. I need to cut out some holes so I can get the filter in the right place. Oh. You know what I mean? You know what you mean. How's it looking, love? Much better than black. Look at that, look. Happy days. This is the difference between me and you. I think about painting it before you put it in place. Yeah, well, that's the difference. <laughs> I always paint afterwards for some reason, but yeah, you're right. It will protect it as well a little bit. Happy days. So this is the famous paint we like using. It works an absolute treat. As you can see, everything's painted with the same paint. But wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi, Danielson. <laughs> right, so what I'm up to is just sorting out my old saws. Basically, what I've got to do, I've got these tank connectors. I've never really used these. I've always used bulkheads, the ones you screw together. So these ones here, you actually got to screw in, put a bead of silicone both sides. The silicone I went with, hopefully, this will do the trick. Marine grade. It was only $6.99 off Amazon. So I'm going to give it a go and hopefully it works. So that's all I'm doing. A big old bead round it, press it out flat and bang it on the new hole. So I've got my hole saw, pretty much. I've had the filter up and what I've done, I've got it as low as I possibly can because that's how where I need it. What it is with these tank connectors, I've never really used them before. I'm not that best impressed with them to be honest with you. They're cheaply made, they're plastic but I need it, so I'm gonna have to use it. But what I've done, I've basically underneath the four inch hole, there's like a, it's a good inch and a half anyway. So that restricts how low down that you can get the four inch to start with, instead of like a bulkhead. Well, stop yibbity yabbiting, let's get on. So basically what the plan is, is to set that down as low as I possibly can, right there. I've done a line underneath the filter so I knew how low it was draw a circle around the inside of this connector i got my mark so then what i do is pop here over the top drill that out pop that one back on then i'm going to pilot hole all of my drill holes and then i'm going to lube it up with a bit of silicone and then i'm going to pop them together all systems go john all systems go he's firing on all four cylinders these hole saws are not cheap, but I've had to purchase this one when I built this pond, so I've already got one. But if you do anything DIY, if you've got the tools, it's, it makes life a lot easier. 
This cost me 30 quid for a four inch hole saw. Slow and steady, because it is fiberglass. That there is what you call the absolute hammer. But one thing's for sure, that smell doing that brings back some memories. I can definitely smell the fiberglass. Is that just another one of my tea towels? It is another tea towel. It will be all right, sweetheart. I'll buy you a new one. All I like to do is line it up by looking down the hole, put a bit of pressure on it, and then just pre-drill my holes out, ready for the screw to go in. Big bead all the way around the start, and then compress it in. Looking good. So much silicone. Yeah, but you got to have it on there. Don't want it leaking. What are you doing here, babe? Just running it all the way around, just to make sure it's not going to leak. I went a bit over the top for the silicone. Just a little bit. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, I don't like doing this job. Right, James. Are you nearly done there? Yeah, nearly done. I just want to make sure I've sealed up every screw as well. Not that I can ever take them off. But I won't need to once they're on there. Just with all the bits I've got left over. It looks a bit untidy, I ain't gonna lie. But you don't see this, it's completely submerged. And it's part of having DIY filtration, tank connectors and bits and pieces like that. I've gone well over the top here with silicone, but I don't want it leaking. I said it ain't the neatest job in the world, but all of the screws i mean i've filled up all of the holes so if it leaks it's on me james is that all of today's jobs done yeah i just want to get this rubber boot on and then leave it for a few hours probably leave it overnight and then fill it up so should we clean this up and um fire up the barbie perfect i reckon sounds like a plan look out now then made these sausages myself as well Perks of being a butcher, see? These little hot plates are perfect for this job. Quick and easy. Burger, hot dog, couple of chips. What more do you want? Can of the energy drink. Thank your mother for the rabbits. So yeah, that time of year, sun's shining. Let's get some of these down my neck. Thank your mother for the rabbits. <laughs> Beautiful. Nothing better than having a burger and an hot dog, a few chips, by watching the koi. Happy days. Mm. So that's the filter all in place. What I've done over here as well, I've also connected it up here. So basically, it's as straightforward and as simple as you can come up with. The end over there, it is capped off, but I wanted to replace the seal. I could have just put a blank on it, but if I ever want to add to it, I can. Not that I need to. I've decided to do it that way. So I'm coming straight in here, coming out here. This one here has got to be linked around underneath these two returns. And I'm coming straight into this side as well. And then uh, I just wanted to make all of the pipe work as minimal as possible. So the pump's going to live down here, come underneath, underneath the filtration, come out here by the leg, join straight up to there with a T and have one ball valve just underneath the filter to shut it off from the pond. I want to make it as minimal as possible to make it as easy as possible so if people want to follow and design it so yeah i'm pretty much i want to make it the pipe work as minimal as possible obviously the less pipe work the cheaper it is to build anyway and yeah i want to make it as straightforward as i can as well to make it simple sometimes oh that's that burger lovely but sometimes simple designs work really well and not over complicating certain things so making it straightforward, minimal pipe work, minimal cost, efficient running, and uh, that's what I say, thank your mother for the rabbits. But I think I'm gonna end the video here, because I've had a bit of a day. But that said, I'm yibbity yabbadin, jibbity jabbadin, and if I don't see you in a week, I'll see you for a window. Thanks for watching the video. I've really had a cracking day with Scrags, Aid and Phil popping down to see me. But I need a thousand likes on this video, so I can get myself a drone and possibly get myself those mics. It's a big ask, 
but it's an ask I'm asking for and I don't normally ask for much so I'm asking for that a thousand likes thank you mother for the rabbits